So, question number 27 of our book uh, related to the probability and random processes and here we are asked that a number x is selected at random in the interval minus 1 to 1. Okay? So, let us have the events A is uh, x is less than 0, B is uh, the modulus of x minus 0 0.5 is less than 1 while the event C is x greater than 0 0.75. Okay? So, we have to find their probabilities and the probabilities of their intersections. Okay? Uh, so, initially before starting the question, let us uh, look at the events and the underlying concept here visually. Okay? So, suppose we have this line. Okay? So, this is the line and here these are the axes, this is axis where this is 0 and here this is 1, this is plus 1 and this is minus 1. Okay? So, the event A let me denote it with red color, the event A let me denote it with uh, the red color and here the event A is x less than 0. So, what is that? This is let me have this event and it lies here. This is my event A which is represented by this red color. Similarly, in order to represent the event B, uh, what we have to do here, we can see that in event B, 0 0.5 is subtracted from x and the modulus of that value is less than 1, okay? should be less than 1. So, we can see here that in overall this area from 0 to positive 1, all the values basically satisfy this condition. So, if I put 0 minus 0 0.5, so here it would be minus 0 0.5 while the modulus of it will be 0 0.5 which will be lesser than 1. Similarly, if I put the highest value here which is 1, so 1 minus 0 0.5 is already less than 1. Okay? So, let me represent represent it with what let me represent it uh, with this green color okay and uh, in representing it with this green color let me have it so this also satisfy this one okay so i am representing it with this green color so what about the other so if i can see here that in the negative end if i put uh, minus 1 here so it will be minus 1 minus 0 0.5 so it would be what minus 1 minus 0 0.5 would, would be minus 1.5 and the modulus of it will be 1.5 which is greater than 1 which does not satisfy this condition. Okay? Similarly, the half of it is how much? The half of it is minus 0 0.5. So, minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is this. So, I will get minus 1. So, here I will get 1 which is equal to 1. So, it also does not satisfy. So, what we have to do? So, as you can see that this is the continuous process here. So, 0 0.5 49999 will basically uh, satisfy this uh, condition. So, here if I will write 0 0.49999 and I will subtract um, 0 0.5 from it, I will get something here which will be less than 1. Okay? So, this will satisfy it. So, therefore, here I will have, okay, so here I will have minus 0 0.5 uh, and here it will satisfy this one okay so it also lies here so the green one is what that is basically the event b similarly in order to represent uh, event c let me use another color here and that is the blue so uh, writing blue here what i will have to do let me represent it with this blue and that is x greater than 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 almost lie here so, that is 0 0.75 okay? and here it will lie like it will be here. So, that is the event C. So, this is event C uh, with green, this is event B while in red this is event A. Okay. So, I hope uh, the overall scenario will be clear now. Okay. So, what we have to do now let me solve it and before solving it let me clear this screen. Okay. So, I have to find the probabilities of each and every element here. So, I can see that the probability of probability of A 
will be as this is basically the line function. So, distance between two points of A okay, divided by the total distance. Okay. So, the total, dist total distance here is how much? So, let me write the formula here first. Okay. So, in A we can see that it lies uh, from 0 to 1. So, here the distance here would be from 0 to minus 1. So, the here area here will be 0 minus minus 1 okay, divided by what here the area is 1 minus minus 1. So, it would be 1 divided by 2. Okay. So, here the probability of A is 0 0.5. Similarly, the probability of B is how much using the same formula that distance between two points uh, of B now divided by the total distance. So, the total distance will remain same because that is 2 while the probability or the distance between two points of B are how much. So, it can be here like uh, 1 minus uh, 0. Point, uh, minus 0. 0.5 will be how much. So, it would be 1 minus minus 0. 0.5. Okay. So, how much would it be that would be 1 plus 0 0.5 divided by 2. So, it would be 1.5 divided by 2. How much would it be? So, let me calculate it 1.5 divided by 2 will be 3 by 4 or 0 0.75. So, the probability of B is 0 0.5 while the probability of C is again using the same formula while the distance here is uh, 1 minus 0 0.75 divided by 2. So, here I will have 0 0.25 divided by 2. So, here I will have how much 0 0.25 divided by 2 will be 1 by 8 or 0. 1 to 5. So, these are basically the probabilities of A, B and C. Okay. Uh, so, these are the events and I have already found out their probabilities which are here uh, while this one is for the A, um, this is for B, I am using the same colors which I have used here and this one is for the blue. Okay. Uh, now, finding the probabilities of A intersection B, what I have to do? I am here first of all, I have to see that what is A intersection B, the area where A and B are intersecting each other. So, this is basically the area we can see that this is the area where A and B are intersecting each other and that is basically 0 0.5. So, that area is 0 0.5. Okay. So, in order to find the probability of A intersection of B, I have to write the 0 0.5 divided by the total distance here. So, here it would be 1 by 4 or how much would it be? 0. 25. So, the probability of intersection is uh, 0 0.25 and this is this one area. Uh, so, let me write here as well this is A intersection B. Now, in order to find the probability of A intersection C. So, what is A intersection C? So, this is A, this is C. So, there is no intersection between them. So, therefore, it will be 0 and in order to find the probability here, it would be divided by 0. So, the probability of it is 0. Okay. So, the probability of A intersection C is 0. So, that is it for today in which we have discussed this problem and I will see you with some more problems in our upcoming videos. Thank you.